What's going on guys, my name is Zanaviz and last week I compared two mid-sized trucks and those trucks were the Ford Ranger Raptor and the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. Now, I told you all last week that there was going to be a third battle or second battle I guess you can say. But that's going to pertain to this video which is the X-Class and versus the Colorado which was the winner of the last the last episode last time I did this right and I did two races for each truck one with the stock engine and the other one with uh, the upgraded engine it has the same engine which is, I think both of them were v6 I had to change the Ford Ranger Raptors engine because it was a diesel and it wasn't really going to go fast. So I changed it to a V6 and basically did the same upgrades. And that's exactly what I want to do today with this video. So let's go over here and just make sure. Oh, whoops. Let's go over here and make sure that everything here is stock. So let's reset default. Reset default and we're going to head over to my testing ground. My testing area. Mind you. Okay guys, so we're back. And this is the area that I, that I had tested it. Now. Oh, there's a car coming. Uh, yeah, just hit me. Why not? Anyways. I'm just going to stay right here for right now. The reason I have this as my setup for like testing these trucks out is because why am I going to test it out on the street? It's like they're off-road trucks. I'm going to put them in an off-road little little route or whatever. So, I chose this route because there's a speed trap over there. And I didn't mean to hit that. And we're going to go and see how fast this truck can go on a stock engine from right here where the cone is, right where the wheel is at with the cone. Right? Let me just align it. But we're going to do that. And then we're going to do the same thing for the Mercedes X-Class. Which I know is also a diesel stock. But still. Just don't hit me dude. Okay. So. Let's boost our launch. Oh. I don't think we can do that in this truck. Yes we can. Oh wait. No we can't. I remember. Okay. Well. Let me just back this up a little bit. Okay. So. Going in. Okay. Two, one, go. Alright, third gear. Brake fences. Keep going, keep booking it. Past the road. Past the sign. 94.07 miles an hour. Let me just... Let me just write that down really quick. Because the last time that I had done this, I forgot it. I forgot what the speeds were. 94.07 miles per hour in the Colorado. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is go to... Where are we going to go? We're going to go back over here. We're going to grab the Mercedes X-Class. We're going to make sure that it is stock. And we're going to bring it back. Alright. So we have the X-Class. We're going to go to upgrades, custom upgrades. We need to... Make sure that this is like completely stock. So I'm going to save this setup first because. Make sure it's okay. Because this is my drag, my drag setup. Right. And if you guys want. Uh, if you guys want my drag setup for this truck. Which it's pretty freaking fast. If you ask me. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video. I will also leave that down below in the description. Be sure to go watch it because it is freaking insane how fast this truck goes how fast it moves so uh like i said be sure to go check that out right now i'm just okay so let's go over here reset default install and we're gonna go back to the testing ground all right so we're back here we're all lined up and everything we're gonna do the same procedure just with the X, X class. So, 
Let's try and go. Can we do a boosted launch? Yes, we can. Well, whatever. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Break the fence. Shift. Shift again. This is a diesel. I hate. I hate the way they they ratio their their stuff. Break the fence. Break the fence. And seventy six point five nine miles an hour. Let me also. Write that down really quick. 76.59 miles an hour. So, Colorado won, obviously. Now, we are going to go over here and we're going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade both of them. I'm going to see if I can stick a V6 into this truck also. So, we're back here. And let me just really quick. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, pushing the wrong buttons. Here we go. So, we need to see if we can stick a V6. There's a V8, there's a V10, there's a V12, and a racing V8. Mother trucker, there's no such thing as a V6. I would upgrade this, but it won't, it won't do anything. Okay, so I try to keep these videos realistic. Like, nobody's gonna freaking engine swap their truck right when they get it. Unless you're like rid ridiculously rich or whatever. But I'm going to put a 6.2 V8. And I will also twin turbo it. I'll leave the drivetrain the way it is. And then just upgrade everything else. That's it. That's basically all we're going to be doing. For the tires. Since I think this is. I think it is an off-road truck. I mean it's all-wheel drive. Uh, I'm going to put off-road tires because nobody likes stock tires. And if you do, then I don't know who the heck you are. So, get away. Boom. Put that offset on there. We need it. Sort of. Not really. Size of the wheel. Now. Uh, I'll put 275s. 275s. Both. Front and back. Now over here, I do like to add stuff because it's like, if you, okay, not that, I'm not going to add that. Because if you buy it, it's like, why wouldn't you want to add stuff? Okay, not that either. So I guess the only thing we can do is remove the rockers, so we don't need that right now. And I think, I think that should be it. I think that's all I did. So, install the setup. And we are putting out 1,005 horsepower. Now, we did switch it to a v8 so i need to make sure it was a 6.2 v8 upgraded everything else with off-road wheels twin turbo okay so we're gonna go uh okay i know what i'm doing we're gonna go to back back to the testing ground okay so we're lined up we're back over here same procedure right so let's let's boost our launch holy shoot i think that's what five thousand five five seven hundred maybe three two one go go up to third up to fourth break two more fences let's go let's go let's go i'm on the wrong side but who cares 126.38 miles an hour. Let me write that down. Oh shoot. 126.38 miles an hour. Okay, so. That's how fast we went. So let's go back to the thing, to the house, and get our Colorado upgraded. Let's go to my cars. Go all the way to Chevy. ZR2, get in it. Upgrades and tuning. Custom upgrade. Okay, so we need to make sure that we have a 6.2 liter V8 in here. Ooh, right here. 6.2 V8. I don't need to mess with that. I do need to put a twin turbo on it. There you go. Tires. We did put off roads tires on the on the Mercedes. Trying to keep it trying to keep it even. 
I don't have 275s, so I'm just gonna put 285s. Yeah, I don't have 275s. Like, it's not possible for me to get that, so I'm just gonna put 285s on it. I don't need any of this stuff. This right here, though. What should I put? I think that looks good. People, people would, people would do that. Like right when they get it. Um, I've seen a couple trucks like this, so I'm gonna put that one on there, and then I will remove that. I know, I know, most of you guys are like, but you're adding weight. It's like I understand, but some trucks come from the factory like this. So, get off of my back for doing that so just chill out just chill out dude come on I'm trying to have fun here just upgrading all this and then we're gonna make it back over there all right so oh my goodness we're putting out a thousand and sixteen horsepower this time i don't know guys i think it might come down to which one weighs less but i don't know it surprised me if the Colorado wins, then the Mercedes is like done for. Alright? If the Mercedes wins, we're gonna do a brake test just like we did in the last episode. So let's go over here. Um make sure we go back over here. Moment of truce, moment of truce. Let's go over here. So we're lined up again. Same thing, as always. Boosting my launch. That's a lot. Okay, I can't boost my launch apparently. Uh, like 5700. The same as the Mercedes. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Break the fence. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Break two more fences. In 100 yards, turn sharp oh, pfft, I, that was not even a competition. This thing's a lot faster. 134 point whatever miles an hour I didn't see it but this is your mid-sized truck winner so if you guys if you guys want a truck real life and in the game and you don't have enough money I'd say go for this one because and look he's doing some freaking gnarly burnouts too but this one won both the stock and the tuned versions of it. So get yourselves a Colorado ZR2. Apparently it's the best mid-sized truck in the game. It's crazy. Really think about it, these trucks going 100 miles an hour plus. I don't know. But that's gonna be it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, share, and comment down below what you liked about the video and other thoughts on other videos you guys want to see, maybe. Uh, smash the like button. It would be much appreciated. And share with your friends. Like I always say, guys, don't be stingy. Share with your friends. They're going to like this stuff. So just come on, help me out here. Let's, let's create an awesome community. Feel free to subscribe. I mean, feel free to <laughs> subscribe. What the heck? Feel free to follow my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All are going to be linked down in the description below. As well as the links to the other videos that I mentioned in here. So, I highly recommend go checking them out. And I highly recommend you checking out my, my social media. So. That way you are like in the know of what I'm going to post. Or if I already posted something. Also, tap the notification bell from YouTube. Because YouTube doesn't like to send out notifications if you don't tap that bell. So, tap the bell. You'll be notified when I post future videos about Forza, Grand Theft Auto 5, and any other type of video of any game. So just, just come on, guys. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. It's the easiest way to get notifications. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay lit. No. You know what? I'm going to do a new outro. New outro. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay freaking legendary, guys.